Hi, and welcome to another one of our unboxing videos. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the new Conspiracy Take the Crown set. Uh, this set comes out this Friday and is the sequel to the Conspiracy set that came out a couple of years ago. Uh, it's designed for multiplayer draft format and each one has a card that actually impacts the drafting process. Uh, so you can get into some really weird wonky stuff while you're playing. It's a lot of fun. So we're going to go ahead and open this up and take a look at some of the cards in there. See if we can get any of those key cards that happen to be in the set. Hey, look at that. Well, I had forgotten that these ones are boxed differently than they did last time. The good news is if you own a store or buy full boxes, they're actually set up uh, to be stackable now. But it looks like there isn't actually anything that holds them closed. Let's see, I think this is just this is just cardboard. Uh, that's kind of a cool little display. Yep, same as always. So. Uh, now, these ones do have 36 to a pack, unlike the Eternal Masters and Modern Masters. Uh, even though those were designed for drafting as well, they only had 24 packs. So we're going to go ahead and grab these. I'm going to duck under my table and grab the ones that fell. Sorry about that. Let's go ahead and get the video, make sure it's all nice and locked into place. And we'll go ahead and get started. So one of the big key cards in this set, of course, is Berserk. It's a one drop green. And uh, Show and Tell has a reprint as well. Uh, there's a new copy of Inquisition of Kozlik. I really like the artwork off that one. And it also got rare shifted. It's actually a, um, I think it's a rare or a mythic rare now. All right, let's see. First rare we got, Phyrexia Arena. Strength of Numbers is my foil. Uh, Adriana's Valor is my conspiracy card. Extrapolate is our mythic, and Hired Heist is our um, conspiracy card, of course, good old tokens. I, for one, am looking forward to the new Duretti. Uh, i got to figure out how I'm going to fit him into something, I'm not sure what. I fell in love with him when he was in the uh, Commander sets a little while back. Alright. So we've got our uh, another mythic, so three packs, uh, two mythics, doing pretty good on that. Uh, leave old Emissary of Trust, and Incendiary Descent, and I think he's around, he's around 12 or so right now. And I got the Monarch token. Of course in this set one of the new mechanics is being the Monarch. Uh, the Monarch has a bonus to it, you get an extra card at the end of your turn. Or I believe at uh, your instep, and then, um, but it also makes you a gigantic target. So uh, looks like we've got a Dusk Mantor Seer, and another Incendiary Descent. Okay, got a gratuitous violence and a hired heist. Ah, got a uh, assassin token. Harvester of souls and natural unity and a construct. Call 
Bullet of the Untamed, a uh, Foil Skittering Crustacean, and a uh, Weight Advantage. Another Assassin. Hellback Goliath, not a card I particularly care about seeing. Uh, Summoner's Bond, and another Crown. Skyline Despot, uh, another Foil, Revolt's Operative, and Zombie, and Assemble the Rankin Vile. Alright, uh, Peliano Vanguard, and Ariana's Adriana's Valor, and a good old Dragon Token. Might need to snag one of those myself. I'm hoping to see a couple more of those high dollar rares. There's a few of them that are in here that uh, you just don't see run across super, super often anymore. Uh, Stunt Double, and another weighted advantage is one of the rare conspiracy cards. I think the conspiracy kind of mechanic is really interesting to be able to basically choose whatever you want. It doesn't count towards your 40 card deck for drafting, and then you just stick them in your uh, command zone at the start of the game. All right. Uh, Ghoul Draz Spectre and Echoing Boon Monarch. So those tokens seem to be pretty darn easy to get. Of course, they are tokens, and tokens are usually easy to get. I didn't know if they were going to treat it kind of like an emblem, where they're not as common. Volatile Chimera. Anything with a Chimera I think is cool. Uh, another one of those Valors, and a Soldier Token. So I've only seen about one or two of the kind of the more expensive ones. Show and tell. Speak of the Devil. So, glad about that one. We'll just go ahead. Uh, if those aren't familiar with it by chance, so one of the better cards in the game. You can go ahead and put both players, but you get to put an artifact, creature, enchantment, or land card from your hand onto the field. So it allows you to kind of uh, sneak stuff onto the field if you want. We also got a symbol of the rank and vial and a monarch token. Okay, Kustai, Lich, and Summoner's Bond, and a good old zombie token. Can't have enough zombie tokens. So let's see, we got the we got the show and tell. Uh, it'd be nice if I can pull a Berserk out of here as well. Grezno. Valor, this seems to be the most common one, I think, of the different conspiracies. Some of these cards, their, uh, their power actually changes depending upon when during the draft you draft them. Alright, we got a Capital Punishment. It's one of those Council Dilemma, Council Dilemma cards. And uh, Gang of Devils. Uh, so the dilemmas are kind of interesting. Um... Because last time you had the will of the council, people got to vote for the good thing or the bad thing to happen. Well, now with the council's dilemma, it's bad. You just choose what bad you want. Uh, so that one was death and taxes. Berserk. There we go. Oh, and the mythic conspiracy car. I don't think there's anything else in there. So, show and tell, everyone votes to either sacrifice a creature or take damage, and then um, it, it all happens. It's not whoever votes the highest. And another Hellback Goliath. Echoing Boon. And Monarch Token. Over half the way done. 
try to finish this up in the next about two minutes or so. Got a little bit of a late start trying to uh, retrieve the cards I dropped all over the place because I did not know how the boxes were set up. Exotic Orchard is the rare for that. Incendiary, Incendiary, um, Descent, Monarch, Birds of, Pir Birds of Paradise. Definitely looking forward to pulling one of those. Needed a set for my personal deck. Mausoleum Turnkey. And then, uh, of course, Natural Unity is the Conspiracy. I think that's the first one I pulled of those. Another Soldier with Defender. Well, if we're going to go right down the expensive line, let's try to pull a uh, Sanctum or a Recruiter of the Guard. The next high dollar ones. All right, got desertion. Another one of those. And the lizard. Oh, and I got a foil rare on there too. Hopefully it's a good one. All right, let's see. We got a splitting slime. And a foil Sangromancer. Foil rares are always nice. Uh, hired Heist. And Goblin Token. I haven't seen either of the two Planeswalkers yet. Hallowed Burial. An Emissary's Ploy, one of the rare conspiracy cards. Down to about 10 packs. Alright. Uh, Psychosis Crawler. And we have a Nissian Asp as a foil. Archdemon of Palomino. This one's really interesting. You actually draft it face up. It's it's a four drop for a five four, and um, fly. Uh, no, yeah, with flying, and you draft them face up. But the next couple of packs, you actually draft your cards random. You don't get to see what they are. I believe it's for the next uh, three cards. You actually draft uh, randomly. So you have, you can look at them after you draft them, but you don't really know what you're getting. Uh, Hedron Matrix. And Illusionary Informant is the uh, foil. And symbol of the rank and vial. And another soldier token. On the home stretch. 100 handed one. Not one that I particularly care about seeing. Uh, repulse, though, in foil. And hold the perimeter. And in the Monarch token, I think we're going to end up pulling all of the rare Conspiracy cards. I'd, I'd have to check my uh, set list, but I think we might actually pull all of the Conspiracy cards. There's not very many of them, and you're guaranteed one in every pack, so... Uh, Kamaya of the Crescent Moon. Another Natural Unity, and a Zombie token. So at this point, as far as... Uh, to help save on time with the last few packs, I'm just going to jump to the rare, and if there's a foil... Pretty much have seen all the conspiracy cards at this point. Uh, Chamber Breaker Devils. Followed footsteps. Alright, we're almost out. I don't know if I'm going to manage to get a... Uh, Planeswalker in this box. Dragon Lair Spider.
Zavalia Stampede. Last three. Faith's Reward, 